Hey my friends, it's a late Boy Scout. I recently reviewed this knife right here, the Ian Sinclair Card Sharp 2. And please forgive me everyone, in that review I called it the Lane Sinclair. I'm sure a lot of people have made that mistake, and I was one of them, I'm ashamed to say. It's the Ian Sinclair. I-A-I-N is the Scottish spelling, if I'm not mistaken, but it's pronounced Ian, just like I-A-N. The Ian Sinclair Card Sharp 2, which I recently reviewed, cool little folding knife, hides into your wallet. And today I'm going to review this, the Eon Everlasting Credit Card Flashlight, also by Ian Sinclair. The Eon Classic, Eon, kind of sounds like Ian. Maybe that's to that help you remember that it's called Ian. I don't know, maybe. Anyway, there is the Card Sharp. We'll keep that there in the background so that we know about it. But this is... The Eon by Ian Sinclair, Eon Classic. And yeah, as you can tell, it is basically a credit card sized flashlight. There are some cool things about this light, some things about it that I really like, and some things about it that I don't particularly care for, and we'll try to cover all of those in this review. Let's try to start with what I think is pretty cool about this light. Number one, it is very small, very slim. You can truly have this with you all the time and forget all about it. Now, here is the flashlight that I do have with me virtually all the time, the Streamlight MicroStream. Have not abandoned this, have not um, given it up. Still prefer it to virtually every other EDC flashlight I find, but this one has some pretty neat features. First of all, it is, like I said, very, very easy to have on you all the time due to its thinness and its light, light weight. How much does it weigh? I don't know. An ounce? Maybe an ounce? It's extremely light. And how thick is it? Not thick at all. I'm going to put that at less than a quarter of an inch at its fattest point. Maybe a quarter of an inch at its fattest point right there where the LEDs are. So that's probably the biggest factor right there, how carryable it is, how easy it is to have on you all the time. It is fairly bright, and we're going to give you a little uh, illumination test in a little bit. Let's compare this light side by side with the Streamlight MicroStream, which I think is a pretty good comparison since this is my favorite EDC light. Another thing I want to say about it, as far as turning this into a wallet flashlight, it may work out for you. I don't know. One thing that comes to mind is that since it does require, it does kind of pinch and it's a momentary on thing, I suppose if you're sitting on your wallet for a good long amount of time, that could become engaged and suddenly you're draining your battery. So who knows? But I, I would not put this into a, um, a wallet uh, flashlight roll. I would not keep this in my wallet. Pocket for sure. Just slip that in your pocket, forget that it's there, and use it when you absolutely need it. One other thing I do like about it is how easy it is to turn on and off. There's the power button, you can tell. But you don't need to see the power button if you are just reaching for it. Okay, It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're grabbing it by the front or back. All you got to do is squeeze in this area, and the light comes on. Okay, Pinch it like that, and it comes on. So like I said, you don't have to use your thumb and depress like that. You can just as easily, well, maybe you can't use your thumb and depress like that, but you can just as easily pinch it right there, and it comes on, no matter which side you pinch it from. Understand? So the button is actually there, but as long as you pinch, you get your light. I think we've covered everything that I do like about it. What don't I like about it? I don't like that there is only a momentary on. You can't switch it, okay? Like switch it on and have it stay on. I don't really like that fact. I like the momentary on uh, feature of the Streamlight MicroStream, just holding it down to see what you need to see and then letting it go. But I also like that I can click it on. Okay, I also like that I can mount it to my hat. I like that a lot. This doesn't do anything like that. No mounting, no nothing. It's just hold it in your hand, pinch it, and illuminate temporarily. Now, for most people who just want a little bit of illumination in a, in a dark theater, maybe in a, uh, a dark crevice in their car when they're searching for something. This is exactly the kind of light that you want. You know, just a little extra illumination to help you find that lost whatever it is. Perfect for most people, I think, and so, so carryable. 
Let's also talk about their claim that uh, this is an everlasting credit card flashlight. How could it possibly be everlasting? Let's read through some of the materials here and see what they say. Created by Ian Sinclair, Eon transcends conventional pocket light sources for the first time ever in a flashlight, ultra bright uh, white light emitting diodes were combined with special circuitry to produce a pure penetrating beam of ultra high efficiency. Uh, so efficient, in fact, that for an average use, you may never need to buy another light as very little energy is consumed. Costly and wasteful battery replacement has become obsolete. No lamps to blow, no batteries to buy or change, as convenient and ultra-thin as a credit card. The reason why that's true is it's only momentary on. So yeah, it could last forever because you're only ever able to hold it on for a few seconds at a time. Whereas this one, click, you can hold it on for 10, 20, an hour at a time. See what I'm saying? So this is definitely going to need replacement. Whereas this, since it's so difficult to hold it on for a long period of time, you probably never will. You're probably going to hold it on for 5, 10 seconds at a time. And I think that because of that, yes, as they said, for the average use, for average use, you may never need to buy another light. Yeah, I think that's probably true for an average user. You probably will never have to replace this. Now let's take a look at that light comparison between the Eon and the Streamlight MicroStream to see which of these two lights you may prefer and if this one holds up. Let's start with the Ian Sinclair light, putting some illumination on my wife's running metals. And you can see that that's a pretty big, wide hot spot there. And uh, it's fairly evenly lit with a little bit of blue towards the center. Um, emanating into more of a uh, warmer tone on the outside. And also, as that kind of gets dark past that, and we continue to turn the light, we see a kind of a halo continuing to illuminate. And you can barely see the metals there. And I'll rotate it the other direction, and that halo comes back. So that's kind of a big, big area that's being illuminated there, a big hot spot and a lot of periphery that's being illuminated uh, by this light. And compare that to the Streamlight MicroStream, which I'll show you now, which is a much more focused light. It does also have kind of a wide halo, but nothing like the Ian Sinclair does, and a much hotter spot in the center, as you can tell there. So it's very hot, and it's a much more warm kind of yellow light by comparison, and uh, emanates a little more, more uh, naturally, I would say. Um, Kind of hot towards the center and spreads out and gets uh, kind of cooler and darker as it uh, goes further out. But as we rotate it, you see that that halo, you know, doesn't really um, come back. It's not a great big uh, halo as the Ian Sinclair is that actually kind of continues to illuminate its periphery. Okay, that's what the Ian Sinclair is looking like. Looking like, and there's the Streamlight MicroStream again, the Ian Sinclair Eon and the Streamlight MicroStream. All right, well, I hope that illumination test was helpful to you guys. That is the Ian Sinclair Eon Everlasting Flashlight. A pretty cool little device, and it's something that the average user will probably get a good amount of use from. I'm the late Boy Scout. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.